Abram tank, first introduced in 1980 to replace the M60 main battle tank, has been a symbol of the US military's power. The tank was technologically well ahead of most other tanks of its era and is still one of the best, but questions are now being raised about its future. Army Science Board study has made some critical observations regarding this main battle tank. The Army Science Board, or ASB, organized under the Federal Advisory Committee Act FACA, of 1977, provides the Army with independent advice and recommendations on matters relating to the Army's scientific, technological, manufacturing, logistics, and business management functions, as well as other matters the Secretary of the Army deems important to the Department of the Army. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the U.S. Army Science Board has concluded that M1 Abrams will not dominate the 2040 battlefield. Let's get started. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Army Science Board, in its detailed study regarding the M1 Abrams, has stated, Based on our findings, the M1 Abrams will not dominate the 2040 battlefield. All of the M1's advantages in mobility, firepower, and protection are at risk. The M1 A2, SEP V3 and 4 upgrades will improve effectiveness but will not restore dominance. Near transparency in all domains will significantly increase the lethality our forces will experience. China and Russia have studied our forces and doctrine and are fielding countermeasures. We will continue to have to fight outnumbered, exacerbated by a low MBT operational readiness rate and an aging fleet. The term transparency points to the intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance or ISR capabilities that will make the tanks easier to detect, track and target. The study restates its core points in its concluding remarks. The M1 will not be effective on the 2040 battlefield. Its design for protection, lethality, mobility and C2 are not sufficient to dominate the 2040 battlefield. The study bases its findings on several relatively recent conflicts, which includes Israel's interventions in southern Lebanon in 2006 and the Gaza Strip in 2014, the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh conflict and Russia's invasion of Ukraine starting in 2022. It also derives certain trends from developments within China's People's Liberation Army PLA. The study notes Conflict in South Lebanon in 2006 exposed shortcomings that drove changes in the Israeli Defense Force, particularly armored vehicle protection. The Israelis restored survivability overmatch with active protection APS, against shape charge ATGMs anti-tank guided missiles to retain the ability to close with and destroy the enemy through maneuver and fire with protection. In Operation Protective Edge in Gaza 2014, the IDF did not lose a single tank to ATGM fire, including in very close terrain. The report states, the Nagorno-Karabakh and Ukraine wars exposed vulnerabilities from ATGMs, armed unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, and loitering submunitions, anti-tank mines and the dangers of increasing battlefield transparency. Furthermore, it continues, insights from recent conflicts, analysis of the PLAA, the People's Liberation Army Army, 
or China's ground forces and Chinese R&D and longer-term technology trends all point to a battlefield that's expanding across multiple dimensions, modes, and domains of warfare and geography and actors and increasing in complexity. While battles will still be fought over localized objectives, battles, campaigns, and conflicts will routinely involve global inputs and consequences. Notably, the battlefield is not expanding in time. The speed of information, events, and weapon systems are accelerating, compressing decision cycles and reaction times. The Army Science Board underscores that the scale and range of potential threats to tanks and other armored vehicles are steadily expanding. This encompasses a growing array of more advanced anti-tank guided missiles ATGMs, infantry anti-tank weapons, and drones. Furthermore, prospective adversaries, particularly near-peer rivals such as China, are increasingly adept at incorporating capabilities from air, sea, space, cyber, and electromagnetic spectrum operations to bolster their ground-based activities. The Army Science Board assesses, the 2040 battlefield will likely see significant increases in the use of robotics for combat, ISR, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and logistics functions, AI, artificial intelligence, aided capabilities to include target location and identification and platform movement cyber attacks on command and control facilities, longer-range indirect fire systems, both artillery and rockets slash missiles, with increasingly capable precision munitions that can defeat anything they can acquire. The board's report adds, the future battlefield will place a premium on camouflage, cover, concealment, deception, and denial C3D2, using new technologies that can defeat, disrupt, confuse, and or spoof enemy sensors and cyber capabilities that can interrupt, confuse, deceive, and even take over enemy command and control systems to desynchronize enemy capabilities. Since its introduction, the M1 Abrams has been upgraded with new technology and its protection has been enhanced but this has come at a cost. The study outlines that the latest versions of the M1 Abrams are very heavy, negatively impacting their mobility, and have defensive capabilities that are still primarily centered on passive and reactive armor rather than active defenses. Viewers may note that in terms of weight alone, the latest M1A2 System Enhancement Package Version 3 SEP V3 variant weighs between 76 and 78 tons with a complete combat load. This weight exceeds that of the original M1, which was introduced into service in the 1980s by more than 20 tons. The Army Science Board asserts that these challenges would become even more pronounced in the event of a large-scale conflict in the Pacific region. This is primarily due to the requirements associated with deploying and maintaining conventional heavy armored units over extremely extended distances. Currently, M1 Abrams remains one of the most potent MBTs in the world. Its latest version is equipped with Israeli Trophy Active Protection System APS. Trophy is designed to protect vehicles from ATGMs, RPGs, anti-tank rockets, and tank heat rounds. It uses a hard kill approach small number of explosively formed projectiles destroy incoming threats before they hit the vehicle. I tried to kill the Abrams tank 48 times and failed, stated U.S. Army Colonel Glenn Dean after evaluation drills in 2021. This addition will surely enhance the survivability of M1 Abrams, but as concluded in the report, the situation will get very complex and difficult in the future when confronting near-peer rivals like Russia and China. It's good that an independent study has pointed to the challenges so that the U.S. military can take appropriate steps. Subscribe for more videos like this.
hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.